Hey guys, Tyler2k here. Uh, this is take two uh, for Frosty Faustings that looks like 16, uh, 2024. Uh, this is top eight. This is the first major tournament, I believe, that's held offline. Uh, although I don't also believe this counts towards TWT 2024 points, um, which I think starts with Evo Japan in April. So uh, yeah, this is just for glory. This is an offline uh, American tournament. Like I said, there have been, of course, other T8 tournaments already, although I think this is like the first quote-unquote major, I believe. Uh, because T8 is a, basically a brand new game, uh, and there are quite a few changes, I, I'm likely to make mistakes. Uh, of course, this is a cold watch, so if I do make a mistake, uh, please let me know with a time code to my mistake. Although, as seeing that Harong and Yoshi are on the screen, I'm probably going to make a lot of mistakes, uh, so just bear with me. Um, I don't know, I, I think I know who wins this tournament, but as usual, I'll try my best to not be biased at all. Um, apart from that... I, Arslan versus Ni uh, didn't have a stream, but I'm going to try my best to find it, and we'll cover that too, because I can't wait to see the crazy stuff that happened there. Uh, apart from that, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll be at Evo Japan, so that'll be pretty fun, uh, first time in Japan. Uh, so yeah, hit me up, I'll be there. Uh, apart from that, I, I think not much too else to announce. Uh, check out my, my Victor video that came out uh, two days ago or three days ago at this time. I don't know why I'm going to release this video. Uh, check that out for how to use Victor's lows. So, okay, here we go. This is going to be interesting because, again, like I said, Yoshi is pretty different and Harong is different enough as well. It goes for, I, I call it downshift because of NBA Street. Okay, big trade. Interesting. It looks like, uh, oh, so sorry. We have Afterburn versus Mason. And I stuck on the calm one. Big flash out. Yeah, he used the, uh, and, sorry, what I'm going to do a lot, I'm probably going to do a lot of pausing because there's a lot of information here. Uh, and things we have to talk about. So, two, uh, basically, he did 2-2. Two, two. Uh, that's a high, so you can duck that, uh, which set up the flash incoming trap to beat uh, Afterburner on incoming. Uh, and because Mason was an NSS stance, uh, so he put the sword away, uh, NSS flash has its old counter hit launching properties or launching properties, whereas the uh, sword stance NSS uh, is just a clean plus 14. So that's one of the reasons why like the current meta with Yoshi in general is to constantly go into NSS or no sword stance. A big pickup, is he too far? Okay, wow, big damage, health regeneration. Wow, nice whiff punish. I if Mason was closer to a wall, he'd 100% be dead. Okay, Afterburner still probably could have went for some sort of heat burst into heat dash kill. Uh, you do deal unskilled damage. Uh, typically, okay, big pickup. Okay, not guaranteed. Yeah, down two, I want to say 15, probably too slow. Back to two preferred. Back to two is Yoshi's heat engager, and also it does cause a uh, wall splat. Okay, we got a wall burst. Oh, big flash, and he's dead. Okay, maybe not. I forgot he already used meter because he had a heat engager. Okay, Light punish on the root kick. Yeah, root kick, I believe, is minus 12. If you're able to even back dash and cause root kick to miss or any sort of shark attack variation, uh, it's just equally launch punishable. Okay, speaking of which, nice punish on, I think, the sights of Pompas, too. Okay, no break comp throw. Okay, I like the back three out. Get too far for wall spot. Goes for possession. Get some health back. Yeah, I like it. Wow, what a challenge on the uh, RFS. Get good patience, get some more meter back. Yeah, anytime. Whoa! That caused chip damage? That was weird. It was like it like it hit, but it didn't hit. Yeah, what the Oh, I guess it did hit. Whoa, that was so strange looking. Yeah, there are some weird hitbox hurtbox interactions in this game. Like you can get hit easily on sidestep now. So you like during sidestep you can't like seem to hit any button. Okay. Plus frame option, the what was it, the four four three cancel. They they buffed that in uh Tekken. 7 Season 3, one of the weirder buffs they gave to Harong. Yeah, Harong has quite a few uh, crazy plus frame options. Okay, decent punish. That is at least minus 16. Yeah, back 3 or Plasma Blade still is. Okay, nice challenge. An interesting transition that probably was a mistake. He goes for the orbital. Big overhead. It should be an easy kill. No! Pop your meter! <laughs> oh, crap. Now, now Mason's in a good position to be okay here. Okay, meter pop, plus frame. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, he canceled into the new animation, the single high. 
uh, and then yeah. went for uh, yeah. Comp Throw, but he just staggered it enough to allow yeah. Mason to mash out uh, Ray Char in that position. Yeah, Backdash, while it did get nerfed in this game, um, still has some weird funkiness to it, uh, so you have to be careful with that. In that case, um, Afterburner didn't, uh, he, he staggered the throw just a little bit too much, which allowed for Mason to get out of there. Okay, big down for 3 4 open gambit. That's only minus 12 on block, I believe. I don't know why. And for some reason in Tekken 8, uh, when you hit the opponent during their, um, what's it called? Oh, you can quick stand that by holding back. Um, so you can, uh, when you do a power crush, like a command power crush, for some reason when you hit them in their back turn, your character will realign. Now, it's probably a bug that will be fixed, I imagine. Oh, nice conversion. Okay, I think that was a reset. The, the, the scaling looked weird there. Nice conversion, though. But yeah, against Airborne, um, that's typically a, a flash line that Yoshi has because it gives you that kind of clean spin state, uh, like Airborne spin state, not, not Tornado spin, where they're allowed to finish or follow up with their combo. So you'll typically see that uh, because the other reason is that when you do flash, uh, as you see, there's these little globes that come off the target. They actually give Yoshi a health back. And what's weird about the uh, health regeneration, you see there a little bit of a, about three health. What's weird about the generation is that it doesn't give you white life or red life damage. It gives you actual meter, like actual health. So even if you were to have like, you know, this much health and then no white life or gray life, you would still get health back, which is something I imagine will be changed in the future too. Because yeah, against Yoshi, um, yeah, while you're getting comboed or combo your opponent, you know, you're getting uh, gray life back, you're doing the damage to them. But with Yoshi, you're not only getting that back, you're actually getting real physical health too, which is very strong. Okay, running three, fishing. Yeah, there you go, see the uh, NSS trap again, the 2-2. Okay, this is going to burn the meter for Mason, luckily. Nice combo from Afterburner, trying to get to the wall. And I don't like the follow-up there, but he's maintaining pressure, so I guess that was the plan. Okay, is he dead? Now sidewall save. Ah! Show the uh, NSS low sweep, and then that time used as a frame trap. Keep in mind, as far as I know, NSS flash is still uh, two frames slower than normal flash. So there is a penalty on it relative to the standing flash, which hits on six. Oh, okay. The uh, old down forward one plus two, I don't know what the new input is. A plasma blade, meter pop, overhead, is he dead? Oh yeah, look at that, nice conversion. You see the power of tail spin up the wall, able to still get the full combo there. Super clean. Yeah, running four, got him with the BT, uh, I think that's three. Safer Plasma Blade option. Faster and safer, but it requires stance. Oh, big sights of four. Okay, back to one. There you go. You see uh, back to one off of Kin. Now uh, causing Tornado Spin, so the damage potential was reduced. Mason probably still, of course, used to T7 at this point. Oh, what a flash. And why did I zoom out the camera? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, 3-2. Get meter back, or get health back, I should say. You know, I, I wonder off of Pogo, uh, is he going to duck that? Oh, no, he tries to spin away, but yeah, that essentially tracks. He might have been able to duck it, which would have been crazy. But I wonder against Pogo stance if you can just power crush now. Sorry, by power crush, I mean heat burst. Heat burst might beat Pogo everything. Now, power crushes are, are weak to lows and throws, but they're also weak to unblockables, which is something no one ever talks about. So off of Pogo stance... Um, he is a forward hitbox and a back hitbox. If you look at the the hitbox like reader and whatnot on Yoshi, it's just a little point on his butt, basically. A follow-up. Yeah, I don't really like Plasma Blade there. The Plasma Blade does give you the... Oh, my God. Oh, careful. Yeah, it's kind of churn steal at minus two. Luckily, he doesn't die for it. Mason has been flashing quite off, often. Yeah, good patience. Easy kill. <laughs> Oh man, you, you gotta love it how fast it's uh, getting into a game. Holy shit. Okay, high option. You gotta duck that. There is a mix up uh, with Yoshi. I think it's 3 2 versus 3 1. Oh, flash out of the air. There you go. See, uh, the, si the situation's not super great for Yoshi, so that kind of confirms what we had known earlier. Okay, good patience. No duck on the obvious high. 
A flash? Yeah. You, you gotta be careful with Heat Burst versus Heat Burst. Only certain characters can kind of get away with it. Careful. He's fishing. He's fishing. There you go. Good patience. Yes, sir. Yeah, the obviously the other benefit of NSS Flash. Um, oh my god. Uh, it, it's, it's positive range. Although in this game, to be honest, uh, Sword Flash seems to be really overpowered on its hitbox. Like, you, 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 like just a small sidestep will put you in his hitbox. And wow, nice patience. Okay, wall break. No, break the wall! Oh, and he's so lucky. Off the wall with the heat engager. Homing option, new, safe, super strong tool. Oh my god, big fish. Hey, okay, Mason pops the meter. Is that a kill? No, not quite. Careful. Popping. What's he going to do now? Oh, goes for the low, and that's a kill. Nice. Yeah, I, I don't think that's guaranteed. I think that's only on a counter hit NCC. The uh, low high high. Although it, it does jail. You can't duck it unless you block the low. Harong is very strong. He has a lot of tricks in this game. Hey, speaking of tricks, Mason uh, fishing with the high option. Again, you can duck that, not jailing. The patience, light punish, 4-4 four, four this time. A hey, meter pop. Possession. Uh-oh. Bleeding. Hey. Oh, yo. Thread the needle. Hello? Oh, is Mason dead? Oh, he's hella dead. That shit hit. Oh, he's hella dead. Nice. Good shit. Damn. Wait, wasn't that round three? Like round three, sorry, I mean like 3 0. That's it. Yeah, the game's over, guys. Damn. Yeah, that was a 3 1 victory in the third game. Okay, we have Sokobi versus Shadow. Okay, light punish. I, I believe back one is still minus 14, but I don't know for a fact. Oh man, nice reset. Good read. Where's he going to go for now? Down for one, yeah. I don't think down for one has quite the same like anti sidestep kind of flinch option on the ground, which is weird because like quite a few mids just hit grounded now. In the sense, like if you flinch at all, uh, really strong. A great example is um, uh, Claudio. Okay, big GS uh, Shadow better tech this shit, otherwise he's dead. But yeah, like uh, sh uh, Claudio has a lot of ground options now. A nice, good block on the. Um, squid attack, which can only be performed off of uh, Scarecrow now. Although, I don't know how punishable squid attack is, the back one plus two. Plus frames. Okay, I still have no idea what the, the deal with that. So that's, that's Scarecrow 2-1 uh, instead of 2-2. Two, two. I don't know if it's a high or what. I probably should have looked it up. <laughs> Whoa, tracking, okay. Plus frame option, out of the air, 4 for 3. The patience, you see the wake up three. You can pretty much do wake up uh, kicks for free now because they're safe on block. Uh, unfortunately, they don't come with any of the benefit, so you're you're just kind of uh, hitting them, uh, you know, to get off the ground. Although I did find out yesterday that wake up three is actually plus seven now. Now I don't know if that's specific to every character, uh, but that's a big buff. Uh, being plus seven versus plus six gives you access to basically. Uh, I-14 mid options on wake up. So if you go from my video number three, top right corner, how like framed out it works essentially, uh, what that means is instead of you, you know, if your character has a, an I-14 versus an I-13, uh, in older games, because you're only plus six, Power Crush would basically beat you. Oh, bad, bad punish. Huge bad punish because I wouldn't doubt it if on this stage, uh, King can just do a fuck ton of damage. Uh, with the groundbreak effect in it. Okay, T1 takes the plus 8, I believe. Is that a groundbreak? No, it's not. Yeah, what's actually interesting, this is a video I'll be coming out with. Um, I found that most uh, options, most throws and whatnot, uh, are one throws to break the floor. So pretty much every character, I, I, I never known this until I started working on this. This was months ago. Uh, I never knew that, yeah, one throws typically are the throws that break floor. So everyone knows, or maybe you guys don't know, uh, but generic two throws typically cause the position change. Now, just like everything else in Tekken, it's not actually... Oh, good patience. Hit for tat, four seconds. Wow, homing option, and, and Shadow's dead on time. Oh, but it breaks the floor. That's unfortunate. 
That, is that really hit, hurts uh, damage potential now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, two throws are position change for like 80, 90% of the cast. But one throws are also the same thing. They're, they're, they ground break for like 80, 90% of the cast. So typically, or, or you can actually... Oh, I, I, that looks punishable from the animation. I have no clue. Whoa, interesting. Out of the range for four or two. It's hitched so fucking far away. Okay, nice movement. Sokobi not ready to duck incoming 1-3. Uh, yeah, Zafina's weak side is her right or SSL for you. So you have to kind of uh, flinch duck in between uh, those plus frames. Yeah, that, I don't know. that. I can't imagine that being safe. That looks very... I, I mean, it might be. But it looks like it's at least... Oh, he's hella dead. It looks like it's at least 10. So yeah, that... Um, Heat Smash, I think, is the most damaging Heat Smash in the game. Uh, it deals 66 damage, and then it has counter hit scaling, too. Also, it hits grounded. Uh, King probably has one of the best Heat Smashes in the game from, uh, you know, obviously tracking, uh, ground hitting option, although you don't get the full animation. Um, plus frames, because afterwards you're left in JGR. I think you're plus 11. So basically, JGR 1 is a free attempt, JGR 4 is a free attempt, and of course, everyone's favorite, JGR 1 plus 2, uh, the unblockable throw, inescapable throw that you can you have to duck, um, is really, really good. A arm lock? Oh, RDC? Okay, no, sleeper. And she goes for a crouch grab. Okay, easy confirm. What's the Kobe going to go for? He goes for buffer GS, interesting. I think the, the mentality there, okay, I, after this move, so Mantis forward four? Yeah, that's punishable. You can uh, almost certainly uh, King four two one would reach that. Okay, so yeah, the mentality I think off of Heat Engager, why he's going for GS, um, is that he had shown Instant Shining Wizard the first time, and because uh, Giant Swing, Swing and Shining Wizard have the same animation, like the same one plus two throw break, like the, the animation, um, he was trying to mix it up with uh, the command one throw. Of course, uh, the timing of which GS comes out versus uh, Shining Wizard is different, so maybe that's the read Shadow had, or maybe he just had a read period. Okay, so that looked a little bit late. It might actually be 14. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, fishing. Wow, do it again. <laughs> and it looks like the new animation, I would imagine that's Mantis 1 plus 2. A okay, nice punish, minus 10, perfect. Okay, Tomahawk. Interesting, down four. It goes for a Frankenstein or for ground hit option, okay. Chase down, down three. Good patience from Shadow. Looking for Sokobi to overcommit. Good break, GS. A track down, oh, into just frame Tomahawk. Oh, there, that time down for one hit on flinch. But yeah, I don't believe it, it oh, wow. Sokobi goes for dash up open gambit like instant wall stand 1 plus 2 and Shadow's like, I got a 1 plus 2 too. Okay, interesting. I didn't know Shadow or sorry, Zafina loses health. So she's kind of like June. She loses health, I guess, when she pops her uh, Azazel meter. I don't really want to call it. Azazel moves. Interesting again. I wonder if King still has up 4 or 3. Oh, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. I, I, yeah, I don't know if Soko uh, King still has up 4 or 3. It's weird that in that situation, he's specifically going for down 4 or 3 plus 4, uh, a.k.a. Um, Frankensteiner, but, which does hit grounded, although the damage is kind of poor. Maybe there's some sort of trap there I don't know about. Okay, we got Battery versus KNR. Okay, did 4 for 1, didn't transition. I don't remember the stance. Gamma How, I think it is, maybe? I'm just going to keep calling it Flex because it looks like a Flex. Okay, interesting. Down for two, two. I option. Wow. EMGF. Oh, one thing I just realized. So this, because this tournament is like two weeks old now, um, this this going to be the patch where Jack has back one, two still. Uh, so unscaled EMGF guaranteed. So Jack shits out damage. With that being said, Devilgen shits out damage too, so don't cry for him. Nice spacing. Good punish. Nice read from KNR, recognizing batteries starting to panic, and this can go all in with a forward two. Oh, good reset. Yeah, you see the power of Hell Sweep now essentially causing launch. Okay. Guaranteed option. I don't know if Jack has an answer to that either. Whoa, Charn Steel? Misses the uh, Heat Burst and immediately pops his uh, 
Wow. Low parry uh, against down back one. Yeah, immediately pops his power crush, too. Okay, good read. Are we going to see unscaled tech? Okay, yes, we are. There you go. EMG after that. All, all guaranteed in this game. A good break. Wow, two throw, two throws. Let's go. Nice challenge. Yeah, I like the steel pedal there. Dash up. You never know. Battery kind of tends to freak out here. He goes for reset. Oh, no, is he dead? Oh, he survived. <laughs> you lucky mofo. Okay, we get to see the animation here. This is an animation I never get to see because usually you're dead <laughs> when you play against Devil Jin. <laughs> okay, anyone? Oh, I would say anyone's game, but I forgot Devil Jin uh, had his meter there, so he's able to immediately pop Heat Smash. I have no idea what flag that is. That must be like a... Uh, yeah, I don't recognize that flag. Maybe a city flag? Okay, we're really holding... <laughs> really holding on that flag there. <laughs> okay, switches stages. Open gambit for him too. Okay. No punish on uh, the animation is different on the tsunami cake, but it's still equally launch punishable. Okay, minus ten. Jack problems, by the way. Okay, that is minus twelve now. That used to be launch punishable in, in late season four. Oh, no punish either. Oh. A high option. Got my two turns. Steal. Interesting. Ooh, long range plus frames. Still fishing. Nice low parry. Is KNR going to pop the meter, though? No, he panics. He kind of freaked out. He didn't know what to do. Uh, is that going to hit? No, I'm going to say. Down for one isn't the best, but I don't think it's that bad. I think that's perfectly fine. Okay, yeah, good break on the two. Good punish. Good read from battery. That down back two with Devil Jin, I think, hits on 20. So it, it's offline, it might be a little bit more possible to see, but online, it's typically read only. I think I think Jin's down two is 21 or 22, so it's significantly easier to, to block and punish. The benefit, of course, is Devil Jin down back two versus Jin down two um, overhead. Uh, the difference there is that Jin's is a launcher, so that's why I think it's slower. But Devil Jin's just guarantees um, like a back four ground hit or whatever you want to do in that position specifically. So, Okay, nice punish. Yeah, forward two with Chak is minus 12. Flash punch is fine. A laser scraper, not the best combo. Doesn't matter, catch him with Demon Pawn, wake up. Get engager, okay. What are you going to do with the wall? Okay, yeah, uh, head problems. The uh, big, ultra big characters have really small heads, so you can't really do stuff like that. Okay, down for one two. That is a high. It's really hard to like kind of react to because I don't think anyone's used to either sits sets the animation. But yeah, that is a high. Speaking of high, okay, damage two under the four one one again. Okay, like I said, the, their head you can't do that because of the head size. Now there there probably is a way if you're really fucking close to them to go for it, but yeah, or you have plenty of time. But yeah, their head makes it such that you really can't grab them. It's always been like that, by the way. Okay, hot plate. Going for it, yeah. Took the plus frames. I think he was fishing specifically for heat mode, flex two, or forward two, whatever the input is. Oh yeah. Yo, heat smash. Hello? Hello, heat smash. Okay, up four. Whoa, I don't know about the four for two. Down for two would be fine there. Any character with a long range 15 can option select up four in this game. I've noticed that. So like Victor, down for two always hits, regardless of what Devil Jin does. Can I sue? I don't know if that crouch throw is guaranteed, though. There is some uh, still contention about crouch throws. I think for the most part, uh, crouch throw being... Oh, wow. Flex the Gamma Hal jump into the EMGF. So good. <laughs> but yeah, I still need to explore it, because as far as I know, they aren't guaranteed, but in that situation, it might have been guaranteed at plus 13. I don't know. Like I said, I have to explore it. I just know when you hit the opponent... It puts them into a state where it's a clean plus frames, and throws are guaranteed there, essentially. But they did nerf the... Uh, what is it called? They did nerf the uh, throws as punishers in this game, so they only really work as um, punishment on Power Crush specifically and whatnot. So, Okay, light punish on the 4 for 1 plus 2. Yeah, the nice thing with... Oh, big. 
Oh, what the heck? Did take the, the plus 14? Why not? Interesting? Uh oh. Oh, big trade. Huge trade. Okay, nice read. There we go. Heat smash through. Yeah, Heat Smash is a uh, do beat. Oh, yeah, nice dead. Heat Smash do beat Power Crush. So you cannot parry, reversal, or Power Crush through a Heat Smash. So whenever you're ahead on your meter and you, uh, you know, you get stuck in these kind of like Heat Burst, Heat Burst gambits, whoever has essentially the faster Heat Burst will win. So Jack's Heat Burst hits on I-10, uh, whereas Devil Jin's, I want to say, is 16 or 17. So he has one of the faster ones. Okay, no punish on the uh, Gamma How or the EMGF or non EMGF, I should say. Yeah, so uh, Double Jin still has forward one plus two, although the input's different now. I think it's up forward one. Uh, sorry, forward three plus four. I think it's up forward three plus four now, but it still works. Okay, nice back dashing. Yeah, Battery has to be careful with these checks. If KNR just makes his sick read, uh, he's going to eat him alive. Hey, speaking of sick read. Oh, horrible combo, though. Hey, no punish. Yeah, the uh, 3 plus 4s are launch punishful in this game. You guys got to max punish those. If you dash into their hitbox, it's always going to be at least minus, I think, 19. Okay, not quite dead. Back to Okay. Hey, battery's in good spot. He doesn't commit. Oh, no break on the uh, overkill, or whatever it's called for Jack. A nice movement. Okay, a little bit too far. Okay, yeah, that's safe on block. No break on the bridge truck. Ooh. Damn, okay. Nice punish. Ooh, good combination. Pop the meter, pop the meter. Oh, no. Three plus four? What was he trying to go for? I wonder if, uh, you know, we haven't seen much chains up forward one from, oh, never mind. Uh, we haven't seen much up forward one presence here. Oh, he's dead. Guaranteed because he tried the power crush. Power crushes are always susceptible to throws now. It's a great buff because that was one of the most frustrating things with T7. Hey, damn, nice movement. Very light punish from KNR. If you just commit, you'd probably be, uh, completely have one already against battery. Okay, nice challenge. Patience. I like battery just playing long range. No we need to overcommit here. Wow, good pickup. Oh, wow. Interesting. Pops the meter. Yeah, that's not worth it, though. Uh, it's not worth it because the, the reason why you go for heat dash canceling um, is you get essentially unscaled on the second or follow up hit. Oh, good break on overkill. Big whiffing. Nice back dash. It's probably going to hit. Yes, it does. Okay, so KNR doesn't have any recoverable health here, so Battery will still be in the lead. Uh, although the situation will probably be better for uh, KNR, period. Whoa, no punish. Anyone's game still. Chase up down for one? Oh, what a read on down back two. Good shit. Okay, so yeah, the reason why it's not as beneficial um, is because of how the system works. So KNR pops his heat burst early so he has heat mode going on so when your heat mode is engaged it, it changes the combo potential and, and damage potential of your combo so here he gets the launcher out of the air okay so scaling's really ready shit so he goes for 442 into heat dash cancel but because he's already in heat mode that means this is a, a clean launcher so notice how jack is sliding He's essentially in a state that he can be picked up. So I don't know what the preferred combo here would be, but he can do something like 3-1-4, 3-1 cancel, electric, or something, some variation of that. Uh, instead, KNR goes for um, the TGF. He goes for Heaven's Wrath. But if you look at the health here, when he when he gets hit, so no, no, notice, notice the, the combo scaling, right? Notice the damage here. So he basically dealt uh, about six, maybe seven health. Uh, also, the bars are bigger, so the the one the ones are a little bit weird. I'm not I'm completely used to it yet. But let's say if he was to do the same kind of similar combo with a heat burst four four two into Heaven's Wrath, he would probably do closer to like this much damage, which is one of the reasons why Devil Jin is so strong. So every character has an unscaled after their 
uh, heat dash cancel. Uh, but in this case, Devil Jin also gets a little bit extra because the attack throw on the end of it. So he gets the benefit plus like an extra like three damage or so that other characters don't have. So, yeah. But uh, good shit, the battery. Even with that sick read, um, yeah, KNR just dashed up and went for down back two. Now Devil Jin also has a new move, uh, Crouch Dash 1 plus 2, which is very strong. Completely safe on block, holding mid option. That's typically what you want to do uh, for Devil Jin. Devil Jin is a very, very, very strong character. And uh, the sooner people realize he's proper top tier, uh, the better things will be. Speaking of which, we've got in veins. <laughs> okay, we have Jimmy Pikachu Choi. I'll just call him Choi versus in veins. Big electric. Okay, 3 1. That's a new animation, by the way. Yeah, rather than doing 4 4 3 1, it's just 3 1. They made uh, double chin easier. Okay, big life lead. Pops the meter. L sweep. Pick up. Is he dead? Not quite. Wow, chase down, down back two. Okay, down back two beating. Oh, interesting. Caught him with the forward uh, 2 4 counter hit. Yeah, it goes for uh, the three ring two variation. Three ring um, two uh, is a plus, or sorry, minus 12 uh, spin option. Nice duck jab out. Uh, there is no more low option to double chin, by the way, so you should never duck, essentially, against three ring anymore. Because, yeah, there's no mix-up at all. Although, it is important to note with three rings on all the Kazamas, so double Jin, Jin, or I don't think Jin has it, but Asuka and uh, June. Plus frames. Yeah, there you go. See, you see how Invanes is using much more, like, Chain's option? In this case, he's going for manual, I think it's called Crow. Manual crow transition rather than using up forward one because up forward one is a high. But yeah, a crow stance with Devil Jin is incredibly strong. Devil Jin got like so many buffs, like that's another big buff there. Although they did slightly nerf the potential or the range on Hell Sweep 1 plus 2. But the fact that, you know, you no longer have to go for, uh, you know, Hell Sweep at clean range, the fact you can essentially do it at tip now is gigantic. Okay, that's a high. There you go. Chains it. approach. Plus 11, I think, on blocks, so you have to hold the 50-50. Oh, man. Crow 3 into back 3 turn steal. <laughs> Meter pop. Got to guess another 50-50. Got to guess another 50-50. Oh, there you go. Beautiful uh, whiff punish. I thought he did the L sign. <laughs> I was like, bro, what is that? <laughs> Hitting with the L? What the fuck? Okay, back two. Yeah, interesting. Back two, three is minus 14, and back two, one is minus 15. That was a weird change. Okay, steel plate, chase down, high option. Big electric, easy kill. Four for two, you can break the wall. Don't break the wall, don't break the wall. Okay, good, yes, don't break the wall. That's that's his opponent's wall, right? Because he's, oh, that's his wall. He should have broke the wall then. Yeah, usually you want to uh, use the resource of your opponent um, no matter what, so that way they can't use the resource against you. So here, he might not want to pop the meter uh, of the, the wall burst. Get out of there. Wow, big. Good patience. One plus two. Probably could have got a combo there. Speaking of which, Choi probably could have done some sort of uh, wall, you know, wall burst to use his own meter or use his resource against his opponent. Okay, wow, pops the meter instantly. So the damage potential is not going to be great, although uh, Rage Arts do destroy red life. So all this gray life is going completely bye-bye. So look at that. Now Choi is playing significantly from behind. Okay, and he's dead. Speaking of which. Rage Art, Rage Art. Yes, should hit. Yes, okay, good. Okay, open Gambit. Interesting. Manual uh, RDS drop into RDS down four. A double full crouch, 3 plus 4. Nice back sway out. Yeah, that back sway is launch punishable, so be sure to launch it if you get it. Okay, pop the meter. Ah! Sidestep right, you have time. Yeah, one of the benefits of Tornado Spin is uh, it, because they're so floaty, you can change your position. So, like here, uh, Choi could have deep sidestep right and then pop the, the meter. Now, granted, I guess this is his bar. Uh, you know, this is in Vane's back, so maybe it's not worth popping early, but still, I would probably would have, I would have went for it. Maybe um, a flower palm or whatever, down back one uh, to break the wall. So deep sidestep right, down back one, pop him into the air. 
Okay, down for one, two, big bleeding. I like the chase down back four from Invades. Oi! Yo, shout outs. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, now he's dead. Yeah, if, if Xiao Yu isn't strong enough, <laughs> the, the little snap kick completely missed there. I wonder if that means Devil Jin would have to go for um, Crouch Cancel, three ring, one plus four instead. Okay, Light Punish. Yeah, that is safe also. The Crow 3, I believe, is uh, minus six, I want to say. Okay, well, running three. Goes for it, full series, back three. Okay, no punish. I mean, very light punish, all things considered. Big AOP under the high. Oh, no break on the EOD, and he's dead. Damn. Let me get a drink of water. Okay, we've got Battery versus Mason. Okay, nice challenge. <clears throat> We see Mason going for the. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know if it's two two and to like hold up to go into NSS or just two two automatically now. I, I don't know for a fact. Yeah, two two used to be um, Yoshi's. I think maybe. I think it had more range than one one. Although the frame data on two two is significantly worse. But the benefit, of course, of two two is the NSS drop. Okay, ground hit and got health back. Okay, doesn't commit to the door knocker. Probably would have killed him if he did. Oh, now he's dead. <laughs> Just when you forget that they have heat smash, there comes the heat smash. Okay, chase down, plus frames. Okay, no break on tombstone. This is not a breakable floor yet. Now it is. Big heat engager, chase down. Nice patient from Mason. Yeah, no punish though, wasn't ready. Okay, pops the meter. Oh, he's dead, dead. I mean, even if, if he wasn't dead, like, you know, health-wise, because that's a, the tombstone is a ground break. He would have done like an overkill, probably like 30 damage. Nice flash out. Yeah, battery fishing a little bit too much. Okay, Mason tries to break the floor, but for some reason completely misses. Chase down, give him the gun. Woo! Thread the needle. Plus frames, back away. Good patience. M massive whiff. Nice battery able to get a reaction on Mason. Interesting. I didn't know when he do goes into flex jump back. There's a uh, animation. He's dead, dead anyway. So again, no ground break. I didn't realize that there's a little gun animation when he jumps back. Because when Gigas would jump back, he would just jump back. Okay, minus 13 still, I believe. Light punish. Whoa! Flash out li late on the confirm. Okay, nice duck jab, and it's a heat engager. Okay, tight. Okay, interesting. Four for one doesn't transition into flex because I think he wants Mason to try to read on flash specifically. Uh oh, is battery dead? He might be dead. I think he is dead. Because he can get him to the wall. Oh, bad combo! Rage art. You can rage art that. <laughs> just rage art. <laughs> it, it, anytime they go into like spirit shield, you can just rage art that, guys. And if you're if you're not super confident, just tap back back and then rage art. Okay, no punish. Yeah, down two, of course. That almost certainly a, a miss input from battery. Okay, back one. Yeah, I don't know if that variation works anymore. Okay, Mason getting a little bit more desperate on his pressure. Okay, got him with the three one though. Okay, light punish. Okay, oh oh yo. Now what does he get here? Oh, okay. I mean, he gets the unscaled, but he didn't use the spin in his combo yet. Ah, ready commit. Yeah, animation stuck. All heat burst hit on 16, as far as I know. So as soon as you hit 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 heat burst, you're in a great spot. Also, one thing of note with heat burst, you should never cancel it unless you're like really full screen, because when you do a heat burst cancel, your animation still essentially attacks, and because heat burst has so much range. It's better to just do it right away. A okay, nice low parry. Yeah, so that, of course, use tornado spin, so damage potential reduced. Yeah, Mason's not going to pop. Oy. Oh my god, Danny. Oh no. Is he dead? Ah, okay, no break on the just frame. Oh, okay. Yeah. I forgot. I'm going to say these combos suck out of context, but yeah, in this patch, those combos are good. Okay, down four option, or down back four, rather, I should say. 
Yeah, battery still using a lot of the uh, Gamma Hal 4 option, the Flex High. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen so many crouch throws. This is crazy. Okay, fishing. Nice chase sound. He's an NSS. Massive trade. Make a break. Oh, Kachu got a little bit of health back. Bat big. Oi, he's dead. <laughs> okay, I like the heat burst there. That was smart. The, the heat burst scaling mid combos are really bad, so for the most part, you should never heat burst, or sorry, heat smash mid combo. You should always do heat burst into heat dash cancel, which does a million damage. Uh, but in that context, it was just a taunt kill. Just all, But for the most part, you don't want to get caught off sides with it. Okay, down two again for Mason, not getting the back two two instead. Fishing, NSS drop. Battery's in a good spot here. Oh no, he's forced to take incoming and he doesn't break it. Oh, and he doesn't escape the just frame. Ah, bummer. Yeah, uh, unable to really dictate pacing there in that situation, unfortunately, for Mason. And he kind of got overrun because of it. I'm sorry, I'm back. Okay, Shadow versus Invades. Down for one option. Okay, up forward one plus frames. Okay, a little bit late on the uh, Wind God Fist Punish. Those are still minus 10. Whoa, running three from downtown. And he had the full animation too, and because Zafina's running three is so floaty, like there's definitely temp plenty of time to react. Ooh, big. I don't know if that was 444, the new animation, a new attack that he has, or if that was up four, three plus four, and the veins went all in. I don't know. Wow, raw crow, and he went for the unblockable. That is a high mix up to crow. And that can only be done out of a heat mode. So that was a good read uh, from in veins. Although you can see the adrenaline is super high on him. He needs to calm down. Wow. Okay, I, I got to find out about Scarecrow 2-1. Uh, it's so crazy. I'm sure it has some major weakness. Maybe you're supposed to challenge it. Maybe that's the idea. Maybe 2-2 two -two is the knockdown. I don't think it counter it launches in this game. Chase down. Okay, again, that looks super punishable. Oh, nice. Using up forward 3 plus 4. But because he's in heat mode... It has the laser property on it, which makes it safer. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like how Advance is playing. He's definitely playing uh, like the game has been out. Like, there's quite a lot of ideas here oh, on his pressure. Okay, up for one chains. Safe option, beautiful read from Shadow. Uh, without Heat Burst, the damage potential is heavily reduced, though. Down three chase, down to right three again. Ah. Okay, back for two out. A shadow looking for in veins to commit to the third hit. Chase down. Solo fish. Vane's not mashing. Although he's st starting to rot. Ooh, bleeding big. Whoa, look at the range. Oh my god, he, he could have converted it on a combo there. That's absurd. Damn. I wonder if Safina like has a down back one, uh down back four or two or something for double hit spin. Maybe Shadow could have got something there. I wouldn't doubt it. Typically moves like that do have a property. Okay, starting to bleed. One plus two, lockdown. He tries to go for down four or three, but the wall's not conducive. Damn, and he pops the heat smash. Which, yeah, I, I was incorrect when I said this looks like a launcher. If you look at the frame data, you're plus 25. But for some reason, yeah, Zafina just gets back three, essentially. But yeah if, yeah, if you look at the frame data, it's like a clean plus 25. So clearly somewhere along the development process, Someone at Namco was like, "Yeah, you know what? That's too too OP. We gotta we gotta tune it down uh, because yeah, the Scarecrow um, heat smash is minus 14, so it's not launch punishable either. Yeah, it's it's very good. It's very good because it causes still a restand at least. So that you know, who knows? Maybe in the future there will be some funky wall break shenanigans or something. Okay, screws up the electric punish. You got it down for two instead." Nice running three. Wave into one plus two. 
yeah, in vain, Stinks, he is dictating pacing, but Shadow has a really good read on his timing, unfortunately. A nice conversion. Root bleeding, goes for down three, cancel instead, nice. Ooh. I wouldn't doubt if Devil Jin can just challenge that, by the way. The the two three, I think it is. Back four probably hits. Four 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 would probably hit. Up four three plus four would probably hit. Well, maybe not up four three plus four. Oh wow, non airborne yet. Oh, that sucks. It pops the meter. He wants to take him closer to the wall. Oh, look at the damage, yo! Devil Jin shits that. Oh, good pickup. Unfortunately, Shadow had a bunch of front loading there. They did nerf jabs for that reason. All jabs are only five damage now. One jab, sorry. So you can't use the mid combo. Get punish. Ah! He tries to. I think he tried to heat smash out. No, he didn't. He just went for 4 4 2, but the full crash down 4 3 somehow evaded it. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so plus. I think this is plus frames now. I don't know for a fact. Yeah, full crash down for three, just under it. Ugh. Well, that sucks. Oh, shit, there was another round, my bad. <laughs> okay, down three opener. Wow, wall stand three into Scarecrow, into one, back one plus two, into the squid attack. Ooh, man, okay, the, okay, so you definitely cannot interrupt it. That is, ooh, that's way too quick to be interruptible. Holy shit. And I don't think it's a high. I, damn, I don't know, man. If so, and someone in the comments, please let me know. I'm I'm very fucking curious how that shit works. Yeah, we got Sokovi versus Afterburner. My bad. Burn. My apologies. Okay, flinch option. Doesn't get hit. Big hold forward to escape the incoming uh, over four. Okay, light punish. I believe that's still minus 15. Okay, nice break on 50-50. Running forward from downtown. Nice punish. No break on the GS, easy kill. At that point, you just take the little know you had it. No, right. Like, I, I, you know, I out. Chubbing. Wow, no flinch on the 1 1 option. I, I assume he still has it. Nice punish. The benefit, of course, with the back three would be the steel pedal effect there, too. Okay, good movement. Overhead, non counter hit. It okay, pops the meter. Okay, fishing. Yeah, low, high, jailing option now. So you're forced to guess 50-50. Also, as I talked about earlier, he can still do the third hit high there. So even if you think you have a read on what he wants to do, he can always just let it rock. Whoa, JGR raw, by the way. <laughs> Non-armor JGR. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jaguar run is only uh, armored with heat mode. So when you're going long distance JGR, that's not... Not a good strat, but it doesn't matter because he caught uh, Afterburn. Just caught looking. Oh, that heat smash is so good. Absurdly strong heat smash. Okay, nice confirm. Back one, two guaranteed. Okay, he wanted the wall, but the wall's a little bit too close, unfortunately. I like the idea from Sukobi. Yeah, I caught you. Yeah, that is safe, but safe doesn't mean plus. Interesting. Very light combo, all things considered. He probably could have got the wall easily. Okay, I believe that's completely safe, although it is high. Uh, I think, so they were supposed to nerf it, like those type of situations, but I believe back four, I think it is, is still bugged. So certain characters don't have good interactions there. Ah, yeah. Inescapable, unblockable throw. Yeah, you have to read it. The, the benefit uh, is there is no like launching option off of JGR, so even though you're minus 11, you don't have to worry open field about it. The problem is, as soon as there's a wall nearby, then you're in trouble. JGR 1 is safe. JGR, like I said, I believe 4 is safe. You kind of have to hold that shit. So that's where the strength of uh, King really comes to play. Furthermore, it's just a Heat Smash. is a billion damage, period. It's so strong. Heat Smash is already super strong. King's is very, very strong. Hey, chase down. Safe option. Oh, yeah. And he's dead. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was weird. I think he thought he transitioned into stance. Maybe RFS up 4-4. Four, four. He got up 4-4 four, four instead. Oh, no. He has to guess for his life. Okay, he doesn't. Oh, Exploder's going to win. Ah. Do it again. Do it again. 
Okay, nice move. Down for two. Keep in mind that's a low high mix up. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow. Tries to hit him with Arfa 4 4, but the uh, step was just too far off axis. And because he's naturally crouching, he gets under the 4 4. I option. Nope. Yeah, you cannot armor through power crushes or heapers or heat smash. Sorry. So, yeah, that's, again, like I said, it's super strong. If your heat smash is fast, you can bait people into just overreacting and then kill them for it. I don't know. Hopefully, heat smashes get changed eventually. That's my real, my, my big hope. Maybe they beat power crushes, but you can still parry them or something. Oh, cancel. Nice. Nice pressure from Afterburn. Okay, no punish. Chase down, very light punish on the plasma. Get break to yes. Open field. Yeah, I like it. Back away. Whoa, what a read on the mid option. Free attempt. Guess is wrong. Uh-oh. Uh, this is a heat engager. Give a meter. Armor JGR, and he's dead. Oh, is that a kill? Okay, yeah, the scaling is really poor there. Uh, so that the throw is scaled. And as I talked about, when you are front-loading here, so he did one, one, two, uh, those are scaled fives. So the, the jabs are only going to do, like, two damage. But luckily, um, and again, this throw is also heavily, heavily scaled by uh, combo potential. So he's very fortunate that was a kill. I think Sokobi was, you know, that, I think that was a real breath of relief there. Uh-oh. Okay, sleeper, down three plus four, what do you go for? Oh, he goes for a reset, chicken. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh, do it again? Uh-oh. Oh, okay, he did He did go for RDC, I respect it. <laughs> hey, option, light punish, I believe that's still launch punishable. Okay, nice combo. Oh, look at the damage. Okay, not the best ender, though, but he wants kind of Oki instead. Big sidestep four. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Tekken eight, diagonal walled. What the fuck? The sidestep four was sick. I mean, I hate sidestep four because it's a counter at launcher. Oh, he just went for a stand three. I wonder if down back four was the preferred line anyway. And then, yeah, he got clipped. Minus frame. Sokobi goes for four and three, which is smart because even with, with Rage, if Afterburn went for, you know, specifically went for his um, he, uh, you know, Rage Art, I think the 4-3 would probably still kill. Okay, Light Punish. Anytime you read um, Wake Up Throws or Grounded Throws, they're launch punishable, so you can just launch those. Okay, Afterburn a little bit hesitant on his pressure. Mid option, I think that's still minus 14. I don't know for a fact. Oh, the, the wall's going to kill him. Oh, no, barely. Oh, and he guesses wrong. <laughs> I-16 heat burst, by the way. Massive hitbox, by the way. Oh, bad. 443 track down. Crazy. Okay, caught him with the orbital. Wall's not super good, but it's not bad. Okay, I guess it's ba is bad. Whoa, cancels high, but Sokobi commits anyway. Oh, is he dead? Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong health. <laughs> oh, what are you crouching for? Oh, uh-oh. Afterburn intro. Oh, my God. Yeah, no way to confirm it. Okay, break tension. Pops meter. Oh, why would you go airborne? You don't have frames to go airborne. Ah, oh, the down three plus four. I, uh... Yeah, I like in that, in that, at that timing, yeah, Sokobi's like, you know what? I'm all in. Let's fucking, <laughs> let's fucking go. Okay, we got battery versus shadow. What do you see? Okay, out of the air. I wonder if Jack could have got something there. Okay, forward one right under the forward one mid, by the way. Big hitbox. Okay. Yeah, sp uh, spin used on low parry, so the Scarecrow 3 plus 4 didn't give the spin. Try. Oh, I don't know about down back 2. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Track down 4 for 3. Ouch. Wow, okay. Really big patience. I think battery might be closed up already. Okay, turn steel out. Nice. Wall stand, uh, I think that's two force. That is high. Despite the fact it looks mid. 
Speaking of which, a yeah, good break, Tombstone. Wall is great, but too far, unfortunately, for the full pressure stomach one. Okay, pressure, nice low parry. Okay, bad combo. Okay, and now counter hit there. Oh, Shadow Force 50 50. Down for 1 1. Oh, interesting. Tries to churn and steal out. Luckily, he doesn't die for it. Oh, my God. How chaotic. <laughs> Oh, what a read! Like what a read! Like <laughs> Shadow is showing so much uh four four three and one plus two presence. I have to imagine that was a miss input, and he, luckily Shadow just got stand three and battery made the craziest of reads. That was crazy. I see. Uh, good confirm. Okay, battery gonna go in. Yes, ops to go in. Okay, that maybe looked like counter hit, but he had already committed to the low option. Turn steal out. Nice. Counter hit too. Wall's pretty good actually. Okay, maybe not that good. Okay, nice punish. That's one of the benefits of having an I-10. Uh, Oi, is that going to hit? Yes. Okay, so that's exactly what I was talking about. So just because, just because you, you cancel Heat Burst does not make you any safer, by the way. <laughs> So he, I think, I, I don't know the exact frame data. When C, NT, and CBT was out, I think I had calculated at 27. And Heat, uh, sorry, Rage Arts hit on 20. So that's a real punish. So I'm not really condoning to buff Heat Burst, please. But it does suck when this happens. It's not fun. But I think it's not fun because Heat Burst, again, by itself, if you don't even commit to the cancel, is so oppressive. <laughs> like... It's often better just to go for it, period, because it's so fast, and it causes bound state. A nice challenge, yeah. Uh, he is left in full crouch. If Jack wants to commit to the follow-up third hit, he can, but it requires him to commit, so there you go. Ay yeah, I don't know if it's better uh, to go for the down for 2-2 two, two, or down for 2-1 plus 2, whatever the input might be. Unless you know it's a punish. I think it's better just to go for a period. Because, yeah, obviously the follow-up second hit is a, a high and you're vulnerable for so many frames during it. You don't want your opponent's punish to become a counter launcher. <laughs> sort of shit. Okay, good break on the Volcano. Caught the counter hit. Wow, still able to do, do a full up forward one line. That's crazy. Yo, Zafina, though. Oh, is he dead? Oh, interesting. I don't think that was guaranteed. It looked like he, he stood up into it and maybe ducked. Although, I believe that would be a, a ground hit. I don't know if it would necessarily steel pedal. The uh, Mantis 1 plus 2, I believe we determined that to be. But still. Okay, I, I want to see more down back 1. I want to see more down forward 2 from Battery. The solo down forward two. Apart from that, I mean, don't forget about 2-1 game. So Shadow seems to be going high crush specifically when he thinks he is going to, you know, he's the one uh, being the aggressor. He's at plus frame. So here, now he'll start threading in the low options, right? But in neutral, he doesn't tend to go for high crush. So yeah, you can kind of dictate pacing with like a 2-1 presence and whatnot. You don't always have to go all in and stuff like that. Take a break on the Volcano. A okay, high presence, good break on the the cannonball, the power bomb, the one. Big whiff. Ah, here. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, nice that. <laughs> Big whiff on the seed planter. Easy kill. Rage art. Oh, he's gonna do full distance. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. The benefit of going for a heat burst into rage art is if your opponent is like sidewall, uh, because the heat burst causes a bounce state. And it's so fast with a massive hitbox. It tends to be really good if you're worried about side splatting, screwing your things up. The problem is because of how heat burst and uh, combo scaling works in this game. It's often, especially in longer combos, you deal less damage by doing heat burst into rage art. So it's typically better just to take the rage art right away. In small combos, when it's like two hits, it I believe does more damage. But the longer the combo goes on, I don't know the exact number. Woo! That was a punish, by the way. That was sick. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that was tight. 
<laughs> but yeah, the, the longer it goes on, um, the worse the scaling becomes. But yeah, it, it's nice for safety. Oh man, battery's still getting clipped here. And I don't think he was trying to challenge with forward two, which wouldn't, you know, the other move wouldn't be the punish anyway. A squid option. Yeah, I'm saying you can challenge that definitely as Jack. I, I don't know what the best preferred option would be, but I almost certainly can guarantee you back three would hit. <laughs> like, it would hit there. This back three has such a low hitbox. Now, granted, maybe it's better to take down four, three plus four, assuming Jack still has it, but I don't know for a fact. Jumping, okay. Wow. You know, it, it sucked because he's in heat mode, right? What did he go for? Oh, that... Interesting. So that was the guard breaker. He went for, he went for the two, either two or four or two. I don't know the exact input. You know what? I was wondering about that because a lot of characters have guard crush attacks now. So this is a guard crush under heat mode. That, not that. Th this one. So th th this is the mid, and that's a guard crush. So it's it's at least plus ten. So typically, what you'll see with Jack players, they'll go for guard crush, and then they'll spend their meter doing the heat smash, which is I ten as well. Uh, so it's probably like plus 11 or something like that, but I don't think it's any better than plus 11. So here, uh, yeah, I didn't realize you can uh, you can power crush through guard crush, which is something I thought theoretically you should be able to. But then I'm like, as I thought about it, I'm like, eh, you know what? Maybe not. I'm going to try my best to hold off. I got to use the restroom. <laughs> okay, we got Shadow versus Afterburn. Okay, while well, back two, turn steal out. Both players completely missing each other. Plus frames. Or I should not say plus frames. I think, well, maybe that is technically plus frames. Oh. Chase down. Nice whiff punish. Okay, wall's going to save here on shadow. Damage potential heavily reduced. Okay, now the ground's activated. Speaking of which, can, can we make the second stage have something like this? Because there's no way to tell that the ground's fucking breakable. It's annoying. Just saying. Like, can can the glass like change colors or something, please, Namco? Okay, no punish. Yeah, that's minus thirteen. So if he had a down four of one four, would definitely hit there. I would imagine. I'm ninety five percent confident. Well, cancel. Okay. You know, duck on the high. Shadow kind of closing up there. That was kind of funny. Oh, okay, light punish. Although I don't know if Safina still has um, Mantis down four two. Wow, what a read. Blocking the incoming down back four. Out of the air, easy kill. Wow. Damn, and that's a full spin. The uh, old uh, tarantula one plus two, whatever the input is now. I think that's up forward one plus two. They changed the input. Oh, no, it can't be up forward one plus two because that's throw generic. In case you don't know, uh, up forward one plus twos are all generic, right? So they're all one plus two throws now. Okay, good break on the command one. That's a ground break. Would be a launcher on the stage. But uh, the fact that, you know, down four one plus twos are gone, that's generically rage art, and up four one plus twos are generically throws. I, I guess in a similar vein, two plus threes, you know, are heat burst now. So heat burst, heat smash. So like, for instance, Dragonov back two plus three, his old unblockable, is now up back one plus two. So I think they did that so you don't get the wrong input. Ooh, nice challenge using the plus frames. Okay, no ground break yet. How is this possible? How is the stage still going on? <laughs> Interesting. Also, the back two didn't splat there because I guess uh, Zafina wasn't airborne. Crazy. Okay, are we going to break the, the fucking... Oh, there we go. Fine, thank God. <laughs> okay, good pick up. Yeah, this wall is very far away. For some reason, they made the stage bigger than its T6 iteration. I, I don't understand it, to be honest. Nice duck jab out, fishing, overhead, nice movement from uh, Afterburn. Okay, wall stand three, cancel. Or sorry, I should say stance transition. You don't cancel it, it always goes into stance, I believe. You might be able to cancel it, maybe like uh, duck jab or something. Okay, Shadow's dead. Bad combo. Ah, is he dead though? No. Oh my god. He, he's dead because he could have broken the floor there. So even though you used, you know, again, there's no heat burst there on, on the table, so the low parry damage potential is reduced, he still probably could have broke the floor. Now, I don't know what the input is with Harong, but Harong 
has this little low flinch kick mid combo that causes ground break. I, I, I would imagine he still has it in this game. He had in T7. Uh, okay. No punish. Down by four is cheeky, but not necessary. Ooh, big whiff. No one's killing each other. Okay, too far. Massive life lead. Ooh, yeah, that looks mid. That looks fast. There, maybe you have to sidestep it or something. You know, what? I, what's something interesting I've noticed here from Afterburn, we haven't really seen any down 4-4 presence from him. I mean, it, it's it's not safe on block, but at least um, is a jailing, you know, low-high counter launcher. Oh, churn. Okay. Flipped over. Okay, too far for the wall. Wow. Interesting. So that doesn't wall spot anymore. Yeah, the, uh, the Power Crush would wall spot in Tekken 7, although maybe that was because it was weird side splat. I don't know for a fact. A okay, four for three, mid option. Nice call on the squid kick. Beautiful full step. Uh oh, canceled. No peacekeeper. This feels like a peacekeeper uh, option. Oh, big whiff. Uh oh, shadow T bagging. Oh no. Okay, break the floor. Oh wait, what? Uh, yeah, damage potential is heavily reduced now, though. Yeah. I think this has a penalty on its stage. This gra ground break in this game, I think, has a penalty in general. Kind of similar to balcony break um, in Tekken 7. Like, heavily scaled. Oh! He, he recognized he needed more damage in the combo, so he went uh, for a harder line to try to thread in the Rage Art. I mean, I, I respect it. I, I heavily respect it. He saw the kill line. He went for the kill line. You got to take, you know, play your outs, top right corner, but... Ah, oh, that still hurts. It still hella hurts. Damn. Okay, there we go. New move. I don't know what, how to perform that, but that's a, a high homing attack. I don't know if it's performed out of LFS or what. Oh my god, do it again? I mean, fuck it, shit. Damn, down back two interrupting back two from Hrong. That's crazy. Nice challenge. Yo, Shadow hella dictating pacing. Okay, no punish. Okay, easy kill. Kind of similar to what we had talked about earlier. I imagine like Harong back three would, would launch punish that. I don't know if you have to do a 15 or not. Long range 15. Like for instance, Claudio can just down forward one to it. Okay, nice sir. Okay, what, what adjustment? Ah, I think he was thinking about the wall. Kind of got caught off. Okay, yeah, no, no wall bounce is funny to see. Okay, Afterburn having a, a few problems here. Good patience. Doesn't want to overcommit with the uh, Peacekeeper cancel. Fishing overhead. Good patience. Pops the meter. Oi, full splat. Oh, no, bad combo. Oh, okay. Saved by the uh, back four power crush cancel. Nice read uh, from Afterburn. Poke through. Fishing. Nice punish. Ooh, interesting. Interrupted. That's crazy. All stand three. Good read on squid. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Was that just a throw? Okay, that, that was a, it was a counter to throw. Okay. The animation looked weird. I thought that was a power crush. Uh, counter at throws, I think, have eight frames less um, break window. So they are much harder to break, although it's still possible. Oh, nice, nice read. Look at the applied pressure. So he, he knew there that he has advantage, right? So plus two because it hit on block. This is only plus one, allowing him to go for down three. And because Shadow himself uh, had tried to rebut with an I-16, I think, or sorry, uh, he you know tried to rebut his own I-16 uh, heat burst. The down three must hit on either 16 or 17 and perfectly thread the needle. Then from there, you know, Afterburn pops the meter and goes for the special heat enhanced version uh, to take the round. So that was super smart play. And like I said, heat burst, heat burst, depending on the character, might not be the best idea. So you have to be careful. Heat burst is incredibly strong, but it can't get you killed if the opponent is fast enough with their options. They're running four. Keep in mind that uh, back turn down four is now generic. That is launch punishable. 
Okay, yeah, I, okay, I don't know if that's 11 or not. 4-3 with Hrong hits on 11. I would imagine it's 11, maybe Afterburn was slow, or it's just 10. Woo! Face down. Ah, big call out. Um, Afterburn has been getting good success with the uh, backlash. Oh, too far? Oh, he ducked. Uh oh. Hey, I would say don't. I, I wouldn't pop the meter here. It's not worth it. Oh, well, now it's worth it because he went for Heat Smash. <laughs> yeah, again, the scaling is so poor. Unless you're going to kill the opponent, it's probably better to not pop it like that. But yeah, uh, Shadow had too much health for unscaled hit. Oh, there it is. So that must be RFF? Yeah, RFF 3, I guess, maybe? Damn, that's so good. That move is hella good because it's a heat engager, too. Okay, light punish. Small combo pickup. Damage three. Yeah, it looked like Shadow got stuck in uh, Scarecrow, so his applied pressure was a little bit late because of it. Fishing. Sidestep option. Good back away. Good fishing. Whoa. Disrespect down four. I didn't realize he still has that. It makes sense. Actually, you know what? Is Disrespect down four safer in this game? Because those typically jail. Damn, nice whiff punish. The okay, wall's kind of funky. Oh, wow. Interesting. Heat burst. He didn't go for the full combo. He didn't go for like the up forward one line, which we had seen does hit. Man, I don't know. If we were playing T7, the up forward one combo would have definitely killed. But I guess Shadow thought it wouldn't have killed, so he backed away. Uh, like I talked about earlier. So there is, you have 180 health in this game. So versus 170. But the bars themselves are larger. So... If you look at it on a like one to one ratio, you can still calculate with T7 kills because of the bar size. Because you do more damage than you think you would if you're used to T7. Oh, a combo drop? Doesn't matter. What did he want there? Oh, did he really just want the the LFS3 or whatever that is? I, I don't know. I, I don't know Harang well enough to be like, oh, he wanted this or that. Maybe he thought the wall was closer? I, I don't know. Okay, nice challenge. Ooh, definitely could have ducked that. Luckily, he doesn't die for it. Good, low parry coming down three. Four for two line, nice. Flip over, down back three, good patience. One, one out. Wow, what a challenge. Good conversion, look at that. Smart from Shadow. And also look at Afterburn's red life. <laughs> he like a full bar of red. This is crazy. Okay, no break on 1 plus 2. Ah, good patience, good bait. Easy kill. Look at that. I mean, like I said, look at the amount of red life <laughs> fucking Afterburn has. It's crazy. Good challenge. Pressure. Yeah, the, um, the high option, the backlash, is plus frames. In T7, it causes you to kind of slightly turn around, so I think it's like a weird frame number. It's like plus six, plus seven. Although I don't know if it causes that same animation in this game. Although it's still plus, clearly. Okay, Afterburn's trying to stay in this. Up for three option. Interesting. Oh my god, look at the damage. The patience. Ah! He second guessed himself, tries to approach four for three. And luckily, Shadow stuck out a down forward one in that position. Hey, uh, man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta lap that. I have no idea what you're supposed to do there. I've, I played against like two Zafinas. Man, that seems so good. Maybe that is high. I don't know. But two two is a boy. Heck, it's seven. <laughs> Damn. Okay, let me let me quickly use the restroom because I, I gotta use the bathroom, right, guys. He was already making adjustments to like fight against Shadow. We saw it in the game earlier where he actually came back versus Mazen. Mazen had like these crazy rounds against him. He still kept it together. Still got the close out. And you saw the same adjustments kind of coming into the fight versus Shadow. Started back dashing a little more. Started biting his time a little bit. That's why he was able to call out that rage art. Knew that he was getting annoyed with having to try to stop that offense. So great play nonetheless. It was great to see Afterburn up here. Got to play some games with him as well. And now Shadow versus coming up.
and the grand yeah, final. Yeah, up there. They it's just, a Kobe. They there just hit is. the uh, Yeah, it's a Kobe. <laughs> that first my fault. <laughs> I, I got you. Yeah, Seattle <laughs> going up against Kobe. Grand final. They just did the rock, paper, scissors. I assume that Kobe won the uh, player one spot. One player so, one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> got a little scoot over real quick. My, that's my spot now. That adjustment is, is pretty interesting that you called out because – for a, a couple rounds, it was as simple as just saying, hey, what if I just, like, he smashed? What if I just, right. what if I just use the heat system a little bit more directly, right? Instead of trying to say, I'm going to stack up this uh, this chip, I'm going to maybe try to enhance a move or two, just to say, I'm going to do a big plus on block, or you get deleted move, mm -hmm. and start paying dividends. That hitbox on that is pretty generous, so you're not getting out of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure the first, uh, you know, few months or weeks uh, for Tekken 7 was, like, the same, where people weren't really using their, like, rage drives a lot, because... All right, here I we go. Him. Yo, if you him. guys would go. like Sokovi to take the set, make some noise out there one time. But what about Young Shadow? If you like Shadow 20Z to take the set, make some noise. Okay, we have uh, Grand Finals, Sokovi versus uh, Shadow. Wow, 4 for 4 track down. That is a, I think they call it like a heavy break wall, so it requires two wall hits. Oh, what was that? Down for 4. Wow. What the fuck? Did the Sokobi not fit? Oh, I don't know. It's so strange. Okay, counter confirm. Nice. Doesn't small combo though. Weird. I would imagine that combo works on every character. Yeah, one of the benefits in this game for King uh, is back one two is his uh, tornado spin option. It's very consistent, uh, being I twelve. So uh, in old structures like down for two option, like you kind of had to get kind of funky with it. Nice duck. But in this game, yeah, you definitely can uh, spread there. I would imagine it would work, but I mean, maybe not. I don't know. Sokovia no better than I, I suppose. Okay, track down. Yeah, no wall hits yet, so the breakable wall is fine here. Plus frames. Nice patience. Sidestep left. Oh, very fortunate. Nice conversion. Oh, I don't. He didn't use tornado spin yet. He could have continued there for sure. Track down. God, that's so good. I have to find out what what's the deal with that. Up for shove. Do it again. Low option. Does it commit? I think he should have commit. Because I don't think one three would kill there. Okay, a little bit chip damage. Now one three for sure will kill. And string. Oh no, punish. Ah oh, no, there's literally nothing you do. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> nice solid kick. I thought I thought there was less time on the clock. I would have got caught. Fishing. Wow. I, I like the read. I like the read there. That was smart. Good read. Uh, also, uh, I think full crash down forward two is still minus fourteen with King, but I did read that Zafina down forward four three is now fifteen, so she actually has worse fourteen punishers. I think. So I, uh, you know, fuck it. Just do full crash down forward two. What, what's Zafina gonna do against you? Eh? Yeah, good pressure there from Shadow. Sokovi getting overwhelmed. Any kind of low stance character gives King problems, like Xiaoyu, Zafina, stuff like that. And especially in this game where Xiaoyu is so much stronger, I would imagine this is a fucking nightmare to play as King. Wow. Damn. Beautiful instant wall stand 1 2 right under the back 4. It okay, pops the meter. A nice little combo con extension there. Okay, that's not going to kill. And Sokobi will get a little bit of life back. He, Sokobi's going to need to land a, a Heat Engager here to regen this health. Because Heat Burst ain't it. Wow. Wall stand 4, 4, 3. But he got back dashed out. And nice little down back 4 uh, from Shadow. And I think, was that game 1? Yes, that was. Okay, switching stages. River Sun. <laughs> okay, track down. Four for neutral two. I think it's only minus 13 now, I read. Same thing. I don't know for a fact. Ooh. Two three out. Interesting. Okay. And the scarecrow transition. Too far for down four four to hit. King problems. Wow, barely thread the needle. So scary. Okay, good punish. Good break. Okay, heat burst pop. Interesting shadow really going for these throws. Okay, chip damage. Ah, uh, running three evidently transitioned Scarecrow one plus three. Wow. 
That was really fast. Uh oh, arm bar? Oh, he went for triple bar and Shadow broke one. That's crazy. I guess he wasn't worried about RDC at all. <laughs> oh! Yeah, wall stand three with King is a high, so that makes sense. Okay. Oh, it doesn't get a wall splat. I wonder if that wall splat's normally. I would have. Yeah, it for sure does, right? Yeah. So just off the wall. Okay, nice shiny. Exploder option. Wow, mash through. No fear. Ah, he ducked. Eats the JGR one. JGR is good. <laughs> that shit's hella good. The heat burst is so strong. Damn, okay. Nice. I like how um, Shadow went for wall stand three there because down back three with King is no longer launch punishable because it no longer launches. So I don't know how, how plus it is, but Zafina wall stand three, I think hits on 12. Okay, Sokobi should pop meter. Oh, what was that? Crouch dash, one plus two. I, I don't know what he wanted to go for there, but he definitely should have done heat burst uh, to extend the combo. Chubbing, okay, backing away. Neutral two, solo poke. Okay, counter hit, so inescapable. Running three. Wow, he recovered in time to beat that. That's crazy. Damn, good shit. I cannot believe he recovered in time. That's so crazy. Uh oh, caught you ducking. Oh, interesting. In that situation, like down three would normally be really good for Safina because of how he's recovering. But because of the new ground, like steel pedal system, it's actually worse. That's might be the w only situation I've ever seen that goes the other way. <laughs> oh, gotta be careful with the heat burst to heat burst. Okay, nice punish. Okay, what's Kobe gonna do here? Okay, fishing. Whoa. Oh no. I'm surprised he didn't pop the meter. He didn't go for heat dash cancel. Okay, wall's kind of funky. Okay, that's fine. Shining's fine. Force 50-50. Flinch kit. Ah, double ollie. Nice. Okay, was that... Damn, back and forth? Was that five? Yeah, I guess that was. Oh, what the fuck? What, what's going on? I'm hitting, I'm hitting up. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Also, I thought I'm full screen. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, caught up the chop. Nice pickup. Oh, interesting. Didn't want to go for short carry there. Okay, belly bump or chest bump, I should say. Okay, stuck in stance. Forced to hold it. Forced to hold it. That's completely safe on block. Yeah, everything, I believe, is safe off of JGR. So the only thing you can really punish is JGR 1 plus 2 to throw. Maple, I don't know. What is JGR 2? I have to think about it. I gotta figure out how to beat that. <laughs> I have no clue. The big shove, is he dead? No, not quite. Yeah, that, that looks, that doesn't look safe though. If, if, if it's safe, it looks like it's probably like minus seven. So you definitely can take your turn there. Okay, nice read. Force 50-50 now. What's Sokobi gonna go for? Oh no. If the wall was closer, Shadow's dead. Oh no. Fishing. One plus two option. I like the down one plus two. Maintain pressure. Ooh, interesting. Wake up three into CC441. Oh, sick. Uh oh. Pick up. Oh, I wonder about that. So maybe he just wants a reset there. Yeah, Shadow Shadow tried to armor through, but again, eat smash beats heat burst. Nice read. Uh-oh. 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 Look at the damage. This is inescapable, by the way. The King's Bridge, if you don't break the second, the third's guaranteed. Yeah, unlike um, Armbar with King, the uh, whatever one that is, I can't think of it right now. Yeah, it's a 50-50-50, a, a, a three-way mix-up, a 33 option. But uh, on the other one, if you go into... Uh, RDC, you don't have to necessarily break the second hit. Uh, he can cancel stance. I oh, know he already committed to down three. Yeah, you can. Um, 
It still escaped the RDC by hitting two. Now granted, the window for breaking the RDC is actually really small, so it's not as easy as just hitting two. You ha effectively have to mash it and pray. But at least uh, second to three is not guaranteed, like it is with Kingsbridge. That's one of the benefits of Kingsbridge, so. Chase down that. There you go. That's exactly what I was talking about. Look at that. Ground steel pedal pushes Sokobi so far away that Shadow literally cannot apply pressure, even with a 4 4 4. Okay. Inescapable throw. Exploder option. Free 50 50. Of course, you can still low parry the wake up three, but. Ooh. Hey, big. Wow. Running three again into Squid. Wow. Jacoby starting to lose control here. Yeah, look at these reads from Shadow. Shadow playing way more proactive now. Okay, wall's good. Ooh. Nice. I like the 4-2-3 uh, option. You never know, I suppose. Maybe you get like a, a side uh, wall infinite or something, yeah? Good cancel. Oh, misses the just frame. He bursts through. Pops a meter, thinking Shadow's going to try to turn Steel with a Power Crush. Speaking of which, does goes for it now. Plus frames. Plus frames. Cancels. Oh, there's a spin. Hit the Rage Art. That should hit. Yes, damn. Good perseverance from Shadow. That was hella clean. Okay, lockdown. Fishing. Yeah, the 1-3 cancel, as far as I know, is still completely safe on block. I believe that's still a, a high mid. Or mid mid, maybe. Shit, I can't remember. It, it's safe. That's all you got to know. I think it's still safe. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so it, evidently, yeah, the uh, reversals don't uh, wall splat. That's a, a nice uh, nerf. Now, granted, Zafina still gets back three guaranteed there, clearly, but it's better than eating a full combo. Ooh! There you go. Finally, someone punished it. Wall's great. Yeah, he probably could have done forward two one into wall splat and then did his tornado spin. Probably would be more valuable. Okay, yeah, I think only minus twelve on the mid, or it's thirteen. It's definitely not fifteen until the final hit. Okay, the, luckily no spin on four for four out of airborne. <laughs> Thank God. There you go for shove. Backs away. Yeah, generic two throw. Oh, and he's dead. JGS2 uh, guaranteeing the uh, throw attempt. What's nice um, is he, I think he still has the chain crouch throw too, so he still has that. Apply pressure, apply pressure. Gotta guess. Okay, too far for wall splat. Getting clip. Nice little micro step there from Shadow. Okay, drops the, the finisher though. Ooh, wall stand two non counter hit, so you can't full delay it. Uh, but yeah, this was that situation. So in case you don't know, against a grounded opponent, you can sidestep right uh, to evade all sorts of wake up options. So even though wake up three and wake up four are completely safe on block now, uh, yeah, you can just sidestep right to evade them. In this case, Sakobi held forward, but Shadow reacted to that and punished accordingly. So I, I like that. It was a good sequence there from him. But yeah, sidestep right is how you beat wake up kicks. It's always been that way, by the way. <laughs> it's not new in Tekken 8. A few characters have better luck with sidestep left, but for the most part, like, it's just sidestep right. Okay, so that's completely safe. Nice challenge. Shadow caught looking, probably transitioning into Scarecrow. And Sokovi made the sick read. Shadow, of course, if he had read that, could have went for a Scarecrow for the uh, Power Crush. But, um, yeah, he thought he had a punish there. But, yeah, JGR1 is completely safe on block. Like I said, just like JGR, I think it's four. I don't think it's three. The the uh, Sobot kick. The homing attack. Wow, look at the range. Plus frames. Nice Power Crush through. Luckily, not airborne. Oh, churn steel. Gotta be careful. Ah, oh, space invade. Nice little uh, heat smash option. Okay, that's a bracket reset, I believe. So now we're into another uh, first to three. Okay, good challenge. Oh, very uh, staggered on the uh, Scarecrow 1 plus 2 pressure. Interesting. 
Guaranteed. All the kick. Interesting sidestep right there. Oh, man. Stand three. I think he wanted forward three. Unless he's experimenting with, like, uh, grounded options. But I don't think Safina has anything special when it comes to her stance in this game. I think whatever works in T7 works in this game. Okay, nice duck. Sokobi kind of overcommitting, getting a little bit anxious, trying to fish for the down 4 T1, but sniffed out. Ay, ah, nice. Okay, big shove. Heating Gager. Running three pressure. Do the shove again. I like it. I believe sh maybe shove isn't plus on block. Or if it is, it might be slightly plus. Okay, good break, GS. That definitely would have splat at the wall at, the, at that range. Whoa, body splash? Okay, nice little back three punish. Beautiful 4 for 4 to beat the, uh, the Jaguar entrance off of uh, sidestep, basically. The cancel. Oh, man. Okay. Sokobi's still in this. I mean, this is a reset. But he's starting to lose control. Yeah, he's a little bit hesitant on his pressure. And Shadow's picking up on it. Like, look at this. Shadow's completely transitioning away from a proper... Okay, sure. <laughs> he's transitioning from, uh, uh, you know, proper Scarecrow pressure. And now it's just starting to kind of freestyle his pressure. Which is, I think, throwing Sokobi's timings off. You know, he's... Because this freestyle pressure is not something you can really train for, you just have to make reads specifically, uh, that does start to lean towards, okay, now if you're the one on defense, you want to start fishing with counter it tools. Of course, in this game, you kind of have to go all in with counter it tools, luckily. But uh, that's where, like, uh, back one and stuff like that would normally come into pressure. But, you know, Sokovi would have to commit, again, to back one two specifically. Okay, nice. Yeah. That for one. So beefy hitbox. Hey, good challenge. Interesting 2 1 to neutral 2. Big Tomahawk. Okay, I like the down 3 chase down. Counter hit confirmed. Man, so yeah, he must not get a combo against Safina. I could swear, I could swear I, I played like, like female characters against King and they were still able to get the full combo. But I, maybe not. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm completely mistaken. Okay, chase down. Good break on the buster. One plus two. Okay, there we go. Now the shadow's starting to transition back into a normal uh, counter hit timing. So he took the uh, scarecrow one plus two into down back two turn steal. Although it's not really necessary, right? Because the one plus two is still plus frames. Okay, bomb. Okay, nice escape. Was that the 1 plus 2 escape? Oh, okay, he's dead. Oh, maybe he's not dead. I take that back. In Tekken 7, when you have Rage, you have 41 health. But in this game, uh, Rage it activates at 43. So I think unless they buff GS, like the first hit of buff of GS, because the GS itself does 41 plus 20, I think it is. So maybe you can actually tech against GS now. Maybe that wasn't guaranteed. I don't know. I'd have to explore that. Hey, I'm pretty like I'm pretty sure you can punish that as king. Ooh, nice JGS out. I do like the uh, CD one plus two apply pressure though. That is a ground hitting option, safe on block, and a counter launcher. Oh, fishing. Yeah, he, he has to right. Okay, side step left. Yeah, get off the wall. Get off the wall again. Okay, just immediately goes for uh, shining. Not horrible. Okay, pops the meter, like I said. Does hit grounded, but you don't get the full animation. Running three. Nice. Is that going to kill? Uh, it's going to be close, but I'm pretty confident that's a kill. I'm like 70%. Yeah, so one thing of note with um, heat dash canceling. Heat dash cancels are universally plus five. Uh, and as talked about, Zafina's running three is kind of floaty. So taking that plus five into a floaty running three is a little bit scary. Um, I think as the game will age, people are going to be a little bit more, I don't know what you call it, ambitious, rambunctious against like minus five situations that they're going to just kind of turn steal all the time. And maybe that means the, the meta will shift to like using Zafina down back four too all the time, right? The beat power crushes, the beat mash. 
Uh, that, that'll be interesting to see how the meta will adjust. Okay, nice punish. Wall stand one, I think it's still at least minus 10. So that was a real punish. Okay, shopping. Pops it. Achu. Yeah, so it, that's the benefit or the downside of JGR1. It doesn't actually counter at launch. It, it, it looks very similar to uh, Ganryu Tai Forward 2, which is a na natural hit launcher and launch punishable. But yeah, again, Kings is completely safe on block. And it doesn't count. It does give you a counter at launcher. Of course, at the wall, uh, it's a little bit different. But still. Oh, had he commit to the throw, he would have won. Hey, do it again. Shove, shove, tomahawk. God, I, maybe it's like it has to be like Claudio down one two right. You have to sidestep it, sidestep left maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have to lab it. Okay, nice confirm. Gets the full splat. Oh, he didn't use spin. Look at the potential so reduced because of it. Oh, cancels options. Okay, nice use of the plus frames that time though. Oh, I like the shove. Evidently, shove hits low enough to challenge against um, Anthus. That's actually really nice to know. Okay, pops the meter. Okay, that time, Shadow is definitely learned. He cannot challenge or punish, rather, JGR once it's completely safe. Okay, easy kill. You see that down there? Oh, got him. Dude, your shoe's untied. Also, down back 1 plus 2, I would have to look into it. I would imagine you can't option select with down back 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 anymore. I, I would imagine you can 15 it. Uh, I, again, I'd have to look into it. But yeah, in Tekken 7, you would make it safer by doing the 1 plus 2, the follow-up. In which case, you can only interrupt with a 14. But now that down back 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 requires it to be like a spin launcher. Yeah, I, I wouldn't doubt it if it's always 15. Oh, beautiful read. Yeah, Shadow's in good spot. Oh, I don't know about the meter pop. Ah, oh, that was the idea. Is that a kill, though? Not quite. Oh, got a guess. Not a kill. Oh, no, it's killing each other. Oh, that's going to kill us. Yeah, so, so that, that's what he had done. So down forward 4, 1, cancel. And then he did wall stand 3 for timing, which transitions into Scarecrow. And then from Scarecrow, he did heat burst or heat smash, which is the low. That was super good. Now, obviously really heavy scramble after that round or you know after that sequence but the idea from shadow was great okay wall's good full splat interesting forward two one wants the plus frame lockdown and keep in mind uh scarecrow one pursuit also hits grounded so sakobi can't stay on the floor there a small combo goes for ground throw doesn't die for it wow the mantis down plus two into whatever that is i have no idea so much damage. Oh! Too low to hit Tarantula. I'm oh, sorry, Tarantula down plus two in case I, I said Mantis. Okay, power bomb. Oh no, that was the, the two throw. That's the command two throw. Oh, sorry, generic two throw. Not even a command two throw. Okay. Stretch. Oh, let him drop out. Dang, poke out? No fear? One, two, three? Guaranteed. I like down back one plus two into Mantis transition. That will hit. Nothing guaranteed, of course. Pops it. Good duck. Not ready, though. Shadow had like a flat. Oh, no. Oh. He had shove. The 4 2 1 would have been guaranteed, but he got like 4 4 2, I think that is. Oh. Running three Scarecrow into Heat Smash. Keep in mind, it's only minus 14, so it's not the worst thing in the world, period. Uh, and of course, because it's a heat smash, you cannot low parry it or, or um, you know, do any sort of special uh, parry option. Like, let's say you're playing Leroy, right? You're in, in a hermit stance. You don't have auto reversal. Lockdown. Yeah, not, not real. In Mantis, you can uh, block lows and mids. You just have to read which one they're going to go for. Yeah, the hop kick was a little bit, a little bit greedy. Uh, I mean, it sucks that it completely missed, though. So, I mean, what can you do? Yeah, Shadow, yeah, now he's going all in. Mantis, or sorry, Scarecrow, or 
God dang it. Tarantula, one pressure, tarantula, probably one plus two, I imagine that input is. I don't know. Oh, GS. Exploder, low slump. Okay, takes the... Not necessary. Yeah, not again, not necessary to go in that position because the wake up three are plus seven. So wake up three plus seven into I-16. Heat burst. If your opponent mashes heat burst, burst, they actually win, which is one of the reasons why heat burst is so fucking annoying to begin with. But nice. So yeah, okay, so JGR... That must be JGR4 then is the low. Maybe JGR3 is the Sabat. I'm sure someone's already commented and it's not going to hear me say this. <laughs> okay, okay, I like the spacing from from Sokobi. I keep out two counter hit launched. Okay, wall's not great. I, I like the attempt nonetheless. Oh, okay, I don't know about Frankenstein over there. Okay, fishing. No duck that time. Yeah, I'm sure that's probably at least 14. Super rapid succession heat engagers typically are, unless you're playing Brian, in which case you're safe on block. LOL. Okay, good break. Okay, pops it. I option. Nice break on the 1 plus 2. Sokobi has to go in. He has no time. Okay, nice wall stand. 2, 2. I'm going to say it. Damn, that's close. Okay, so that in that situation, Sokobi did wall stand 2, which is 14, to punish the down back 1 plus 2. So maybe it still is only 14 if they go full distance. That kind of is kind of weird. Plus frames. Got him just frame. Wall's good. Yeah, he can press. Dang, got to hold that. Yeah. He flinched against uh, down forward, uh, you know, forward 2, down 1. Sorry. Okay, nice damage. All things considered, that's not bad. Backs away. Okay, he burst out of his own. Big whiff, light punish. Ah, that was so obvious. I hella knew that was coming. I was going to say that shit. So that was the same uh, similar sequence we had seen earlier. So applied pressure. He drops into Scarecrow. Right, down three, re-Scarecrow. Or sorry, Mantis now goes for 1-3. And then Scarecrow entrance into Heat uh, Smash. Although what's interesting here is this like uh, strategy line from Shadow is the same thing, right? He goes for the low, so he he's not a, he's basically doing a low low mix up in his applied pressure. Of course, the one three entrance is safe on block, and you have to be careful because Scarecrow four beats anything you're gonna go for. But because of that reason, the fear of Scarecrow four is there that allows him to go for the Mantis uh, Heat Smash instead. So. As usual, uh, quite a few things uh, in this game come down to just not fearing what your opponent can do and just, uh, you know, going to your own game plan. Yeah, I imagine he can short carry that. Wouldn't it be better to short carry? Maybe down forward 2 1 short carry, wall splat? I mean, I have to imagine that's more valuable, right? Because at the end of the day, the, the tomahawk pressure, right? Tomahawk is just like a chip. 50 50 there's like there's no pressure here at all right down four four for flinch catch down three if they stay on the floor or down back two if they dunk at the end of the day right you're just doing a little bit of chip damage in this case shadow three plus four is out the churn steal because right what's what's the worst that kobe's gonna go for down four four who cares right flinch catch option so still uh, wouldn't it like i said wouldn't it have been better to short carry it doesn't matter because sakobi still got the win here but I don't know. It's something weird. People just kind of forgot, like, to get opponents to the wall. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's a, a Sokobi thing. I, I don't know. But get, get the opponent to the wall. You know, allow yourself to apply pressure and then do what you want to do normally. Right? I imagine King still has crouch throws or ground throws in this game. So. Maybe the scaling makes him less better, I, uh, less good. I don't, I don't fucking know. But it feels, it feels weird to go for... A, a, a poor 50-50 follow-up when you could get proper pressure. I don't know. Okay, Lockdown. Nice back dashing. I like Sokobi with the little micro dash up for down forward 2 to lock down. If Shadow would normally just back dash there, the down forward 2 would miss, so Sokobi's forced to apply pressure that way. Okay, easy kill. 
JGR one, full splat, in case Kobe's in the lead. Ooh. Okay, one plus two. 50-50 applied. Okay, armored stance. Goes for it. Manual, I like that. Uh, you are armored stance, but you see, just like other power crushes, lows and throws. Is he dead? Yeah, he is. Wow. Yeah, lows and throws uh, still beat it. Okay, down three. Safe option. I like the down four four check or down four three check. Okay, Kachu, small combo, too far from the wall. Okay, applied pressure out of there. Nice conversion. Oh, I imagine back one two would have still hit there. I don't know if it will. Ooh, why aren't you getting up? Okay, JGS goes for a throw. Trying to end the game right now. Oh my god, Shadow's not airborne? Wait, what? Oh, I would be pissed, dude. 50 50 forced. Uh oh, here it is, last touch. Wake up four? Ah! Nice. Yeah, that, that was an ugly fucking round. But, like, look at that, dude. That, I mean, that was a perfect read. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, he still got the win, but god damn, that sucks. So, yeah, because heat burst, right, caused bound state. And during this 4 for 4 he's airborne. But I guess maybe there was 10 frames of lag, you know, freeze from the power crush being eaten that he was able to recover on the ground. Let's take a look. So, frame... One, two. Really? That? Really? Mm. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I mean, like I said, in the grand scheme, he didn't. It didn't matter. But oh man, that's rough. But I like it. You you, you read your opponent closing up. What what's the best thing to do against a close up opponent? Uh, an inescapable throw. Ah, <laughs> oh, that for one was smart. I like it. You know, we hadn't seen, like, very many down four ones from Sokobi in that set at all, so good shit, nonetheless. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, like I said, I believe the first offline major tournament of Tekken 8. Um, I'm going to try my best to find the Arslan uh, versus Knee match. We'll cover that once I find it. Uh, apart from that, as also mentioned, I will also probably cover the first tournament for ATL, um, the, the Korean, uh, you know, Africa, uh, sorry, Africa Tekken League um, in Korea there. So uh, as usual, comments, questions, concerns, if I made a mistake, please let me know. I'm sure I made quite a few of them uh, in this video. So please let me know if I did make a mistake so I can learn from them. Apart from that, um, I'm now in like a transitionary period where I'm like, okay, well, do I want to do exclusive Tekken 8 coverage of like just like tech, like videos and stuff like that? Or do I want to just do the uh, live commentary sort of stuff on these or whatnot. So please let me know. I'll probably also put a uh, a feeler for viewer match reviews. Um, that way you guys can uh, post your own footage. But I, I still have quite a lot to learn about this game. So I'm not going to purport to be anywhere near as knowledgeable yet. But uh, we'll get there eventually. So yeah, that's it. Uh, Tyler Chikay signing off. I hope you guys have a great uh, week, I guess. Later on.